guys, what's going on? MD here. Hope you're having a great week. Performance guide for Dungeons and Dragons Online. I haven't made this video yet and I wanted to help you guys out. If you haven't gotten a really good system or you're on a laptop or you just want to tweak some things, maybe uh, this video will be interesting because I'm going to share all my knowledge now from the game to you. Um, first of all, go to options and here you have graphics you can set the graphics AP to DirectX 11, 10 or 9 depending on what OS and what GPU and system you have um, in a nutshell DirectX 10 gives you a little less features and some less bells and whistles than, than DirectX 11 and DirectX 9 gives you even fewer than DirectX 10 um, all in all you can use all three I mean the game will still look pretty good and you're good to go. Um, resolution is important if you want to uh, tweak tweak uh, some better frame rate and have some better performance. Of course if you set the lowest resolution you will have the best frames and performance. The game will also load faster. You put it on a high resolution uh, everything will be slower. Um, Anti-aliasing you don't really need to turn that on unless um, yeah you can handle it on your system. Now very important is here the troubleshoot. If you didn't know this, you um, are actually capped on your frame rate by the engine speed. Um, changing this setting to low, it will cap your frame rate to about 20. Um, setting it to normal, high or very high will basically set it to the maximum that your system is capable of. I'm capped at, at 60 frames. Uh, my monitor is 60 Hz as well, or 75 actually, but uh, I'm sure, yeah, I can't get higher FPS than this. But my system can handle much higher FPS, but it's it's just capped. Maximum frame rate here, you can set that to infinity. Now, if you have a less strong rig, you don't have really a powerful rig, but um, you want to tweak and see how much uh, far you can go in your frame rate, just set it to high or very high and, and, and see how it runs. If you have trouble with the game, like freezes, hangs, crashes, you can turn this down low. So this is very important option. So you remember that. Go to troubleshoot and, and, and start tweaking here a little bit. Now, as for the advanced graphics, um, as you can see here on my 5 GHz system, everything is set to Ultra Max. Um, that's no problem for this system. But um, if you want to save FPS, I recommend um, the draw distance, um, turning it lower, the shadows over here, stencil shadows. And shadows are normally, they, they, they take a lot of performance. Um, Post-processing effects, volumetric sunlight, these things on a, on a lower end system, they might hog a lot of performance and so you want to balance that out um, texture catch size you can turn this down low and I don't I don't even see a difference player crowd quality there is a difference but it's not really noticeable um, so yeah I, I play with with not much blur and bloom I, I don't like those effects motion blur and that kind of stuff so I, I just turned it all off um what is also yeah multipass lightning these kind of things that would take performance um also texture detail if you have a uh, bad performance set this to low or very low and uh i can show you guys something here you have um medium textures and the game still looks pretty good here you have very low textures. You can see the game looks uh, a lot, a lot worse now. But if you if you put it like to to low, so you see there's there's some sharpness in the textures or medium, and then you can actually tweak the anisotropic filter to uh, you know about two or four, and you can you can get some extra sharpness. Setting it to eight will mean really sharp uh, sharpening the image so you can actually um, tweak this and um, 
still have a, a good look but you're playing with low textures but the game will st still look crispy and sharp so uh, 4 is actually plenty 8 is, uh, is also good and 16 well it doesn't make that much of a difference going from 8 to 16 the change from from uh, 0 to 4 is huge as double but then it, it it's not really that noticeable um, so uh, about about 8 or or 6 or 5 that's the sweet spot um yeah so these things just just tweak it a little bit and uh, yeah i told you uh, the things that uh, take the most out of the ace of course aa here takes also a lot of fps if you have gotten that far with the system as far as audio quality um i don't really think this is something that you need to tweak um, ui settings and all this these kind of things you don't really n uh, need to do that so um, yeah of course the the other advice that i give you guys is um update your os make sure you have the fastest os i recommend windows 10 um, especially if you're running an amd system there is nothing else than windows 10 for an amd multi-core system um, but windows 7 is you know it works it's stable it's more stable than windows 10 but it's less fast um, uh, yeah update your drivers and uh, make sure your pc is clean and uh, don't have anything running in the background, virus scanners and all that kind of crap, turn that all off. So yeah, this is my uh, performance guide, ultimate performance guide for Dungeons & Dragons Online. And guys, I hope you have enjoyed this video. And uh, I wanted to keep it short and uh, not talk too much. And uh, I hope uh, that you guys learned a little bit. And um, yeah. Basically, in a nutshell, the mo most important things is here the AP, the resolution, troubleshoot, and setting your your cap frame rates and your engine speed, and then for f you know tweaking the texture detail, those shadows, those those really uh, intensive uh, uh, settings that aren't really uh, for uh, older GPUs and CPUs. Turn them off. The game will still look great and you will have great frame rate and no loading times also what of course helps is putting the game on an ssd solid state drive ram disk or a fast hard disk uh, to load and, and run it faster yeah, that's it all right guys take it easy and uh, stay cool stay safe